with me? If you have a horse that's really afraid of the tarp, you can pick up the tarp and drag it around and let them follow it. You can also just walk them around the tarp, let them take a look at it out of both of their eyes. Horses have eyes on the sides of their head. They see, you know, kind of separate pictures but separately out of each eye. So it's really important that they see things out of both eyes. Sometimes they'll be confident with it on one side and not from the other. So here I'm just asking her to put her attention on the tarp and then I'm just going to see what she does. So she's licking her lips. Check it out. Good girl. And you can do the same little drill that I did with the barrels apart where you send them over the tarp, ask them to move their hindquarters, turn and face, wait, relax. The wait is really important. So don't send them through and then send them through again and send them through again. Make sure they wait and relax before you send them off again. And remember that you don't have to do your whole, you know, you don't have to do everything with the obstacle in the first session. So your first session with a horse that's really afraid of a tarp could just be circling around the tarp and you never even ask them to go on the tarp. That'll blow their mind. A lot of horses are used to having humans think very direct line and say, get on the tarp, it's not going to hurt you, get in the trailer. And so, you know, as soon as they see something scary, it's like, oh dear, I'm probably going to be forced onto that. But if you just let them investigate on their own, <laughs> this girl, that's the right brain side. She says, oh my gosh, it moves. This girl. If you let them investigate it on their own and just, you know, put pressure on them very gently, then they're going to trust you more. And you see she got a little worried, but then she's like right back at exploring the tarp again. Good girl. The nice thing about her being, you know, a, a right brain introvert is usually if she gets worried, she doesn't go too far. Moving her feet, she's not too, you know, she's, she's, um, it's got great impulsion. She's like a perfect five if you had an impulsion scale from one to ten. She likes to go, she likes to stop. He's about a, a four, three or four. On the trail, he loves to go in the arena. You better have a good reason for him to be going or he's just bored and he does his little snail paces, which is great because I give beginner lessons on him, so I don't mind that he likes to go slow. Good girl. And the weight is really important. Good job.